Hello. That's Shalom, and welcome to a special Joy of Drinking Rosh Hashanah edition. I didn't think there were many Rosh Hashanah specials out there, so here's the first one, the fucking first one, Rosh Hashanah edition of Joy of Drinking of any episode you've ever seen. So, on Rosh Hashanah, what is Rosh Hashanah? Well, Rosh Hashanah is the beginning of the beginning of the Jewish New Year, which ends with Yom Kippur, which is later, but don't worry about that. All you have to know is that Rosh Hashanah is the beginning of the Jewish New Year. And in that time, we do a lot of things. And by we, I mean me, because I am a Jewish person. I don't really, uh, you know, I, uh, associate that much just with the, who I am these days. But the point is, I was raised Jewish and I went to Hebrew school. And everything that you hear in this episode is going to be like, uh, what is Rosh Hashanah to a person who went to Hebrew school for like, you know, five or seven years and now remembers anything that he remembers from that plus whatever he read on Wikipedia. But let me tell you something. Right now, we've got a cup and we got a couple of glasses from my great, great grandparents from Russia. I mean, I'm serious. These are, I, I told you in early episodes, I'm filming from my parents' garage. But let me tell you something. These cups were used from my great, great grandparents' wedding. They were Jewish. And I'm Jewish, and both my parents are Jewish, so here it is. Guess what? On Rosh Hashanah, we drink, or we eat, apples and honey to bring in the sweetness of the new year. And guess what? I've got some decuper. I mean, it's a standard. Decuper is apple stops right here to represent the apples. And guess what? I got some... Uh, Bunrati mead. I mean, mead is great, right? Mead is like honey wine. But here it is to represent the honey. Because on Rosh Hashanah, we have apples and honey to bring in the sweetness of the new year. There are other things we do on Rosh Hashanah, but we'll get to that later. Uh, the point is, we got apples and honey mead. So we're going to make a shot of apple. Boom. We're going to make a shot of honey. Now, uh, these are certainly not, uh, these, these schnapps and meat are certainly not wine, but I'm going to say the blessing over the wine anyway that I remember. Baruch atah Adonai, leheinu melech haolam, parei pari ha-gafen. You guys say amen? Amen. Thank you, Ron. You guys know Ron. He's a Jew and all that. Oh, you know, it does taste like apples and honey. Oh my God. Because guess what? I was just saying, oh my Adonai. But guess what? We got apples and honey right here. Boom. I put honey on these apples and I'm eating them. But what, are the, what am I talking about? Welcome to the joy of drinking. Where I, Michael Walker, paint an oil painting with none other than Bob Ross, the famed TV oil painter. I don't know what I'm going to be painting today, but I do know that if you watch in the link in the description down below, you can see me and Bob Ross painting side by side. So please do that, and then you'll have a better idea of what the heck is going on. Now, before we get started, I don't know uh, what it is I'm going to be painting, but what I do know is that my fellow Jew, uh, what was friend in Hebrew? My Haver Ron, see, so I can do the ha, see, because I learned that. My Haver Ron is um, going to tell me uh, what it is I need to paint uh, and what it is I need to know. So here you go. Please know that today, for the joy of drinking, so I'll be drinking schnapps and apple liqueur. Will be season 12, episode 1, Golden Knoll, Golden Like the Honey. And um, I'll need to start with Magic White pre-applied to the canvas. But before we even put Magic White on the canvas, what I do need to know is that to usher in this new painting and to usher in the new year, we need to blow the shofar. What is the shofar? It's like the horn of a ram or something. And we've got a pretty sweet shofar from... There's a call and response situation. And here it comes. I'm going to say the call. 
And Ron is going to give the response. Josh in the new year. Takia. Shavarim. Tarua. Takia. <laughs> Takia. Shavarim. Takia. Takia. Tarua. Takia Gedo. Beautiful. And so with the shofar, the horn of a ram, probably, we have ushered in the new year and we have ushered in a new painting. So now, oh man, let me tell you something. We borrowed that, that, that amazing horn from um, and now Ron is putting it down gently on like some towels that we have laid out before him. And because uh, we gotta make sure to take care of it. So I really can't get started. Well, I suppose I get started. Boom. Here's a palette right here. What's on this palette, you might ask. I may have said it before, but I don't care. Because before it was an old year, now it's a new year. And the new year says Van Dyke Brown, Dark Sienna, Midnight Black, Titanium White, Cadmium Yellow, Yellow Ochre an Indian yellow. And that's what I'm gonna be using to doing this Bob Ross Joy of Painting. Uh, except that this is the joy of drinking, but you already know that. So let's mix a little bit of apple. Boom, let's mix a little bit of mead honey. I, I don't have any magic white on my canvas, but that's just gonna be how it is. And now we're gonna start the Rosh Hashanah special during which I will atone for my sins. Joy of drinking episode. Hit it, Ron. Hmm. Look at those clouds. Ron was just signaling to me that I'll need to use some magic white for this.